Determine the equation of the linear function f, which passes through the points p, minus 3, and minus 8, and q, 5 and 4. In order to determine the linear function of f, we need to use the formula y is equal to mx plus c, in which m represents the gradient and c represents the y-intercept. In order to determine the gradient, we use the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, substitute the values of the points p and q into the formula used to determine the gradient. Substitute y2 with 4 and y1 with minus 8. Two negative values form a positive, so write the numerator as 4 plus 8. For the denominator, substitute x2 with 5 and x1 with minus 3. This is written as 5 plus 3. m is equal to 4 plus 8 over 5 plus 3. This gives us a gradient of 12 over 8, which can be simplified to 3 over 4. Now that we have the value of our gradient m, which is 3 over 4, we have to work out the value of our y-intercept, which is represented by c. First, we need to substitute x and y with values from points q or p found on our line. Let's use the point q. In our formula, y equals mx plus c, we substitute y with 4 and x with 5. The formula now reads 4 equals 3 over 4 times 5 plus c. Now, in order to solve for c, multiply 3 over 4 by 5, which will give you a value of 15 over 4. From there, you'll have to switch the formula around so that it reads c equals 4 over 1 minus 15 over 4. In order to solve for c, you will have to find the lowest common denominator, which is 4, and multiply 4 over 1 by it, which will give you 16 over 4. Now, subtract 15 over 4 from 16 over 4, which will give you a value of 1 quarter. We now substitute the values we have acquired into the formula. f of x is equal to mx plus c. We'll now read as f of x is equal to 3 over 4 x plus 1 over 4.